In this tutorial for beginning Blender users, I'll show you some editing tricks to help you control your objects when you edit and move them around. And this is really an important lesson. I'm using version 2.63a. So I have a basic scene set up in here as you've seen before. I'll just add a, uh, let's move my cursor to the center with uh, Shift S, cursor to center, and then I'll add a cube to the scene like usual. And I better give it a color just because I like colors. All right, we'll give it kind of a greenish blue color this time. All right, so in this case, say I wanted to make a bunch of objects. Maybe I want them to be a bunch of soft bodies that are moving around in the scene, They're controlled by some uh, physics effect of vortex, wind, something of that nature. But one way you might do it is you might have a single object and you might uh, have it selected, hit Shift D, and then maybe press the Y button and move it on the Y axis and set it there. And or maybe I'll bring up this menu right here, this window right here with the N key, and I can separate it maybe by C 2.77, maybe I'll separate it by 3, a distance of 3. All right, and then maybe I'll do it again, Shift D, Y, move it over there, s click here, separate it by 6, like that. Well, these are all their own separate objects like this. Now notice, there's one thing that's important about an object is this, see this little red orange dot right here? It shows the center of the object where it's located. And if I right click this one, it's located there and right click, it's located here. But this is a little bit of work if you're trying to put a bunch of objects in the scene like this. So there's a better way. And so we'll get rid of this guy and get rid of this guy. We'll use the array modifier. So I'll right click here, but just by default by using the array modifier is a little tricky. It can throw you into a loop and I'll show you what is uh, the issue with that. So up here, I'll click the um, object modifiers right here, and I'll add the modifier, and I'll add it. I'll add an array modifier, and what this does automatically, it added a separate cube in the. You notice here, here's the uh, axis. It's in the uh, on the x-axis along here, and that's because this offset button comes up set here, and it says it's got 1.0, so it's separating it by a distance of one Blender unit on the x-axis, but I want to move them to the right on the y-axis, so I just make that 0, and I'll make this say 1.2. And so it sets it at an offset of 1.2, like this. I'll move it over a little bit like this, and then if I want more, I just count more. I add more to the scene, like this. Quick and easy, and equally offset from each other, just like that, and if I don't apply it yet, then I can just change the number right like this. I so said, oh, maybe I want it a little bit further apart, 1.3 for each one. And it's like that. But now you notice, l let me deselect them all for a second and reselect it. But now it's all one single object. In fact, if I was to rotate it on the x-axis, Rx, you can see it all rotates as one. Well, if that's what you want, that's okay, but maybe not. All right, I'm going to escape that like this. So what I'll do anyway is I'll just I'll just go with it for a second and I'll apply that. All right. So they're all one single object, but that's not really what I want. So what I want to be able to do is make them individual objects so I can have maybe maybe they all want to be soft bodies and uh, with different parameter set or different vertex groups applied to each different cube. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll go into edit mode with the tab key and then I'll press the P key and then right here where it says by loose parts so separate by loose parts and so I do that and immediately it moves over to this last one if you notice the name on it is cube and the one adjacent to it is oops let me get out of edit mode and then this one is cube.006.005432 and one. So it's renamed them for me and now they are individual objects. So I can, well, so that one's there and I move it here. Well, notice I'm moving it here and you see, you see that little orange dot again? It's in the center of this object, but not the last one, right? Like that. So let me escape that. And this, since this is my object, let me ch press shift S and let me try and move. Well, actually it's not, that's not going to work. So I was going to try and move this directly there. That's not going to work. So what I want to be able to do is I want this, each one of these, to have their own individual centers because otherwise if I was to click this and rotate this, let's say R, Z, rotate it, it's rotating it around where this center point is, like that. And then maybe that's an effect you want to do. Maybe 
you know, maybe that's how you want to control it. Maybe you want to click this and go RZ, you know, and click that one and go RZ and move him this way. And that can work for certain things. You're just basically increasing the radial distance from the center like this. So that might be one effect. Now I'm going to control Z real quick and put those back to where they were. But if in this case we were trying to find the we wanted to set individual soft bodies for each one and I want my center to be the same on each one so you have to go over here and I'm going to uh, I'm going to select them all so I'll shift and hold down that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one down here I'm going to go object and transform and I'm going to set the origin to the geometry so that little orange dot is going to go to the geometry of each one and there it goes. So now each one should be at its center. So if I click here and I rotate on Z, I rotate it. Now it rotates on its individual center like that. And now there are all individual objects. So then if I was to come up here and say, let's just use this first one as an example. If I was to set that and uh, let me see, make that. Oh, I'm in the Blender game engine. I want to move over to Blender render. Let me see, make that a soft body and I'll just leave that friction at 0.5 and then come over here and make that a soft body, change that friction like that and then you see when I go back now they have individual attributes uh, set to them. So if for instance you know you came over here and I put a uh, an empty down here in the scene like this with shift A added an empty to the scene gave it a physics effect of say uh, a wind, let's get the wind a little bit of wind like this. It's pointing upward. In fact, if I increase the strength over here, you can see it changes at the strength like this. But I'm going to rotate it on Y, R, Y, because I know the green is Y. And that should be pointing at these things like this. So then when I Alt A and run it, it should at least affect those two that have that's got a soft body about and that's got a soft body effect. So it'll affect it a little bit. We haven't really changed any of the parameters on it. So let's try it. And you can see the soft body effect actually does start taking place in there. Okay, well that gives you an idea about object editing and centers and things like that. And uh, that will help you out in a lot of ways because sometimes you'll be editing it and you just don't know what it's doing. Well, that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.